know, even when I was in uh, incarcerated, <clears throat> I didn't watch the first episode of Ayano Van Zant, and people would run to me and be like, Tony, Tony, your family on, you know. And they would tell me little bits and pieces of what was said, you know, the wire, like and attracting the girl. You know, people always love the, 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 the juicy stuff, you know. And I really never paid a lot of attention. I never paid a lot of attention. And then, you know, something about one of my grandmother's um, brothers touching one of my aunts, Duranis raping her and I hate that Lord knows I hate that I hate any type of thing where somebody take advantage of the weaker and so this is this is this is hard for me but in in that this particular episode and on the follow-up I, I never liked the first episode because when I heard it, I, 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 I went and looked when people drew it to my attention. I went and looked for a brief second, and it was man bashing. It was bashing the memory of, yeah, yeah, you say my dad or, or, or my granddad, or don't, 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 yeah, don't say this about my, no, no, no. There's a lot of stuff that was said that shouldn't have been said about the men of the family in a public setting, in their death. And then somebody brought it to my attention and told me, today, man, you need to go back and look at that because Leslie is saying that your dad uh, violated her. And they, they interpreted violated as meant to be a sexual assault. Why? Because if you go back and you look at the, 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 the episode, Ayanna Van Zant talks to Duranis about the sexual assault on her. And Durana says, I don't know why I didn't like to be around him. And the, and Miss Van Zant tells her, because you were violated. That's why. Well, that word lingered out there. And Leslie being the person that she is, and I'm telling you, I don't care about it how anybody feels i'm ready to deal with whatever issue it is i'm home now i'm home now i'm ready to deal with whatever issue it is you're not going to sit here and slander my dad murphy pace you're not going to sit here and say my dad was any kind of pedophile my dad was not he was not nowhere near a great Dad, the, you know, we bump heads. We we had issues all the way to the death. But I knew him well enough to know. My dad didn't mess with children and he didn't mess with family members. He didn't, he, he wasn't a pervert. To the point where he'll sit and touch his sister. And you sit there, Leslie, and you go and you, and I seen it. And the guy think that you were sitting there and like, oh, well, and I'm taking, I'm taking this to Facebook because she ain't going to, she ain't going to deal with me face to face. And she's not going to let, she's not going to answer my phone call. So I'm going to deal with this in the public, just like y'all dealt with it in the public. And you've done it two times now. My dad was by no means the perfect man, but he was a great man. He cared about every one of his sisters. He cared about his sisters so that he neglected me to the point of caring for them. Oh, yes, he made some, some poor business decisions. When you come from nothing, sometimes you make that. I'm making poor business decisions as we speak today. Has nothing to do with uh, me trying to manipulate or me trying to take away or steal. And that's how my dad was. He was aggressive. He was a, a chance taker. And y'all knew that before. But when he, when he succeeded in the chances he took, you celebrated him. When he fell on his face, <laughs> you wiped your foot on him. Oh, yes, it came to me how he was sick and, and, and would be downstairs and none of you would go and see about him. You slandered Murphy Pace, Leslie. You 
you took a, and I seen it, what the guy thought was uh, you not wanting to, to reveal, you you were holding on and you really didn't want to participate because you didn't want to put it out there. No, that was Leslie. That was the dramatic, that was the the, the, the drama, the, the drama uh, uh, driven in, in, in George High, Leslie, yeah. Love, love to be, and, and your problem has been Murphy Pace put Sean in front, put Duranis in front, put the wire on the drums. Oh, he put he, he put Melinda at head of, of, of the choir and never put you anywhere. And so you sat there during that show and I watched it this time and you calculated just like you do. You calculated. Oh no. Doranis just came with this. Oh no, you're not gonna steal the show again. Oh, I'm gonna leave here. So you chan, you, 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 you grabbed a hold to a real vague expression. And said, my dad violated you. And it left room for people to connect the two. Okay, Doranis' violation was concerning a sexual assault. Murphy must have sexually assaulted Leslie. The devil is a liar, and you are too. Sexual predators don't just go and touch one sister. Sexual predators out of uh, uh, out of thousands of people that this man have had uh, 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 come across and minister to. Yes, he 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 cheated in his marriage. He committed adultery. He fornicated. But you ain't had one person come and say he touched their child, or that child said he touched me. My pastor touched me. You haven't had one cousin come by uh, another family member come and say, oh yeah, by the way. Murphy Pace committed incest with me. Y'all are committing crimes against dead men. And I'm calling you out. And I hope it I, I hope it I hope everybody in up uh, that, that that got ears or that can read lips hear what I have to say. You're a liar. You're a liar. And the truth ain't in you. If you want to grandstand, use some other means to grandstand. And I'm ready. I'm ready to deal with all the issues that need to be dealt with. I didn't want to deal with it, and I, 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 I Lord knows, but I, it goes from one secret to another secret to another secret. And I heard Latrice when she said, it was a, 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 a advertisement or something that says, oh, it, and there are still secrets. That's because all of them know you lying. And nobody will call you out. Why? Because you're their sister. So it's still an ongoing festering of make-believe and, and, and false pretense and lies. Why? Because it's my sister. And every one of them know you're lying. Every single one of them know you're lying. It's despicable. It's despicable. And no, I don't expect no respect from y'all. You can't respect your own dead men that gave their best. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. I know what you did concerning my child. You surrounded me with nothing but meanness and hatred. And I, I, the Church of God in Christ should be ashamed to put somebody as president to lead the Sunshine Band. You, and you wonder why your kids go back home and they come back home and they got some spirit in them. They got spirit in them because you're allowing them to be influenced by people that's full of the devil. All that grandstanding. Oh, you ain't going to talk about, uh, uh, t what's that girl named? Uh, Braxton, Tamar Braxton. Oh, that nice, nasty. That ain't from somebody that's of God that should be leading people's children. 
and you and yet we miss that. And it was never about Duran. It was about you. It's an opportunity to grandstand again, to you to to be in the limelight again, the limelight that was denied to you by my dad. And I don't think he did it maliciously. There were just talents and, and, and people that came before you that just held it down. But anyway, neither here nor there. You're lying on my daddy. And I'm telling the whole world, my dad was not somebody that would touch a sister. My dad was somebody that would kill you for his sister. My dad, tre the, the neighbor's dog went and attacked trees. Some Rottweilers, my dad ran out in his drawers with a butcher knife. That's the type of person that Murphy Pace the third was. And sometimes I see the way he, 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 he defended his sisters, and I just said, well, man, I wish my dad would defend me that way. But it's cool. He still was a good man, and he still had great intentions. And he wasn't a sexual pervert. He wasn't a sexual predator. And how dare you stand on his legacy, crap on his legacy, so that you can try to steal the show. You stole that show. But God's going to deal with you. You polluted the mind of my child. But God's going to deal with you. <laughs> and for every one of you, I think because of my silence or so because of my reservations, people think, okay, well, maybe Tony, maybe he ain't that guy. I am that guy. Play with me. Play with me. The cameras, I know about the cameras. I know who's responsible. Play with me. And my, it's another cousin that sat there and told, she got on there and she was praising God and she was saying something about how she and her mother had made it through some tough times. And, you know, family, she said something that was really powerful. Family that fake love will kill you. <laughs> Sweetheart, I understand. Fake love will kill you. I came home and people were like, Tony, how you doing? Man, oh, you mean you ain't seen them in 18 years? No, I ain't seen them in 18 years. How's somebody going to tell you Tony's doing okay and they won't even write? They won't even accept the call. They won't even do anything. They, they'll ride past a place and not take an opportunity to check in on my soul. But you're lying and telling people, oh, Tony's doing good. Oh, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, we... And implying that you know when you didn't even care. What you should have told him is, I don't mess with Tony. Be real. I don't mess with that joke. Bump Tony. Just like I do. <laughs> Just like I do. I don't, I don't mess with this person. You ask me, I'll tell you. Do I mess? Why, you don't, why I don't see you in all? Uh, I don't mess with him. I'm gonna tell you, and so I can try to look like I'm a Christian, or look good, or look uh, get your approval. Oh yeah, they're doing good. Yeah, like I'm the great family member. I'm telling you, sometimes family members can't be nothing but human. And then being human, you just give a person a space. You get out of my space, I'm gonna get out of your space, and that way we'll live longer. But you're too busy putting on. If you would have got out of my space, it would have prevent, present, presented opportunity for other people to say, okay, well, I know the paces ain't there for him. Let me go and look in on him myself because he may not be doing good. But as long as you lying and telling people you know how I'm doing and I'm doing well, then guess what? People are, so, people are, so, people are like, man, I would have been did something. I didn't know. It's a whole bunch of shamming. A whole bunch of conniving. Lying. Deceiving. <laughs> and why, if you ain't hurt me ever, you hurt me twice. 
You hurt me twice. You hurt me twice. And I don't expect much of you. I don't expect much of you. For somebody that acts safe, I know a lot of people that act safe. But you win the award.